Coming up, we honor one of the most influential collections of artists of the rock and roll era. So great that they were called the band. We also unbox one of their classic albums, Cahoots. It's their 50th anniversary Super Deluxe Edition box set. And we share some stories behind some of the most beloved tracks. So take a load off and join us for a rock and roll revival coming up next on Professor of Rock. Hey, music junkies, Professor of Rock, always here to celebrate the greatest artists and the greatest songs of all time. You know, if you still love the crackle, that sound of playing an old record, you're gonna dig this channel. Just subscribe below and click the box so that you can be the first to get our new videos. Patreon is also a way to get more content and help us uh, keep this a daily foray. And uh, you absolutely have to see our new vintage year merch. Uh, it's like, Mad Magazine meets classic MTV. You can see that below. So they call themselves The Band, a title that epitomized their honesty and homespun realism that made them one of the most influential groups of the late 60s and early 70s. The Eagles, the Grateful Dead, Crosby, Stills and Nash and Young, Led Zeppelin, Elton John, The Beatles. They're just six of the many notable artists that sprinkled the band's uh, rustic brilliance into their own music. Band were five musicians with Canadian and American roots who had wildly different personalities. Uh, the devilish Rick Danko on bass, there was Darth Hudson, the shaggy organist, saxophone and accordion player, Richard Manuel, the soulful pianist with a delicate falsetto, the spiritual lyricist Robbie Robertson on lead guitar, and the lovable drummer and primary vocalist from Turkey Scratch, Arkansas, Levon Helm. In the beginning, uh, between 1958 and 1963, the guys were the backup group for Toronto-based rockabilly singer Ronnie Hawkins, known as the Hawks. In the mid-60s, they received widespread recognition as the musicians that supported Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan's uh, 1966 tour with the band was uh, noteworthy as the first time Dylan toured with an electric band. They officially became the band in 1968, and they continued to collaborate with Bob Dylan over their core years, which saw them release uh, eight studio albums. The song by the band that significantly influenced American popular music was, of course, The Weight. Take a load off, Fanny. Take a load off, A track written in the first person about a traveler's experience in a town that, uh, according to author Robbie Robertson, was based on Nazareth, Pennsylvania. I pulled into Nazareth, was feeling about Nazareth uh, was chosen because it was the home city of Martin Guitars. Robertson wrote the guitar parts on a 1951 Martin D28. Now, all the characters uh, in The Weight were based on true-to-life people and events. Helm delivered an authentic vocal from the vantage point of a Bible Belt Southerner with that wonderful, iconic chorus, Take a load off, Fanny. Take a load for free. Take a load off, Fanny. And... You put the load right on me. And you put the load, you right, put the load, on load me. right on me. Now, in this feature of Professor of Rock, uh, we're going to spotlight the 50th anniversary of the band's fourth album, Cahoots, uh, a collection showcasing the band's colorful character development with a soundtrack of charming Americana musicianship. It's influenced uh, so many revivalists today. Let's kick it off with the funky R&B jazz flavor of Life is a Carnival. Life Life is a carnival, believe it or not. Life is a carnival, believe it or not. Life is a carnival, two bits a shot. Two bits a shot. Life is a carnival is definitely one of the band's greatest songs. It is a joyful rock jubilee that encompasses Robbie Robertson's uh, fascination with carnivals. In fact, Robertson's longtime road manager, Jonathan Taplin, says that the Robbie's ties to the wondrous world of carnival characters goes back to Marcel Carnet's film, Les Enfants du Paradis. When the band was playing and writing 
1969 into the next year. They watched the 1945 film a lot of times, but uh, Robertson's fascination stems from even earlier than that. It was when Robertson was a teenager working in the summer on the Midway at the Canadian National Exhibition in Toronto. Life of the Carnival is the lead cut on the Cahoots album and uh, features a horn arrangement by the revered Alan Toussaint. Any song that Alan Toussaint was involved in is always going to get my immediate attention. Life as a Carnival is a lively track with a spirited lead vocal co-share between Helm and Danko. You can hear that they had a lot of fun recording this track. Uh, there's just a groove on that song that grabs you by the throat. It makes you feel like you're smack dab in the middle of Mardi Gras. You can feel the, the funky madness in this celebratory track. Robertson, Helm, and Danko wrote Life as a Carnival with some really clever metaphors comparing real life on the streets to a carnival hustle. Yes, indeed. The street is a sideshow from the peddler to the corner girl. The musical notation for Life as a Carnival is printed on a wall behind Levon Helm's grave in Woodstock, New York. Levon sadly passed away on April 19th, 2012. Downpour of tears were shed on that day. There was just a lot of love and respect for Levon Helm. Now, the fresh remix of Life as a Carnival from legendary producer-engineer Bob Clearmountain is uh, more urgent to me. It gives it a, a noticeable impact transforming the song. Although Cahoots is a predominantly original material by the band, there is an inspiring rendition of Bob Dylan's When I Paint My Masterpiece. My masterpiece. In a 2020 interview with the New York Times, Dylan surmised uh, When I Paint My Masterpiece is about achieving something or arriving at some place that is beyond one's personal experience. A place that is so supreme, you could never come back to where you were. Hey, everything is gonna sound like a rhapsody. The song's meaning has a, a twist of irony. If you do paint your masterpiece, what will you do next? But someday everything's gonna be different. Dylan believed at that point in your life, you have to paint another masterpiece. I mean, some people only dream of making their masterpiece, but never even get started with it. Uh, for the band's version of this heady composition, the mournful lead vocal, of course, is assigned to Levon. Cold, dark night on the Spanish Who just delivered uh, such a heartfelt performance with a Cajun howl that rolls perfectly with uh, Garth Hudson's reflective accordion. My masterpiece. Another great track on the band's cahoots is 4% uh, Pantomime. Like uh, the spontaneity of the song's origin is one of the reasons why 4% Pantomime is so mischievously cool. The track was recorded impulsively when Van Morrison stopped by the Bearsville Studios as the band was uh, laboring through the studio sessions for cahoots. Four Percent Pantomime was Richard Manuel's joyful turn at the microphone, even if it was unscripted. Manuel and Morrison became fast friends, and the two turned a conversation about the difference in alcohol content between uh, Johnny Walker's Red and Black Label Whiskey into an impromptu session of drinking and jamming. With a fifth of Johnny Walker red. Even Danko's funky bass and uh, Garth Hudson's keyboard sounded like they were having a party of their very own. La, 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 la. Four Percent Pantomime started as an unfinished Robbie Robertson composition, but Manuel and Morrison completed the song by exchanging the vocal parts. Manuel as a, a boozy sailor and Morrison barreling in as his fuddling partner in crime. track, it's just so freakishly wild and different from the others on the album, 
You know, they probably contemplated keeping it off uh, the finished product, but uh, they were so glad that they did keep it on. The band's Cahoots uh, 50th anniversary box set does include a live version of one of the band's signature songs, the great blues rock narrative, The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. Original studio version of this Robbie Robertson Penn classic is, of course, on the band's eponymous second album in 1969. The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down is a first-person portrayal of the economic and social distress that paints the life of the underdog protagonist, Virgil Kane, a poor white Southerner during the last years of the American Civil War. Virgil Kane is a name and I served on the Danville train. Levon Helm is the narrator who begins the story by taking us back to one of the most difficult periods in American history. Levon uses his Delta growl to lead us through Virgil's pain into a fiery evangelical refrain that has even more revivalist euphoria in the live version that's included on this box set treasure. The band's Cahoots 50th Anniversary Super Deluxe Edition box set is a suite of releases conducted by Robbie Robertson as the project Shepherd, with a new stereo mix by the aforementioned Bob Clearmountain from the original multi-track Masters. The box set CDs and digital configurations boast a bevy of unreleased recordings, including a Live at the Olympia Theater, Paris, May 1971, a rousing bootleg partial concert consisting of 11 tracks chosen from the initial throws of a European tour that found the band at the top of their live game. You'll love this variety of rarities in this presentation, such as early and alternate versions of Endless Highway and When I Paint My Masterpiece and six other raw takes, outtakes, instrumentals, and stripped down mixes. It's been said that Robbie Robertson has always been disappointed with uh, the original mix and the overall sound on the first release of Cahoots. When they were preparing for the 50th anniversary of this record, uh, Robbie Robertson really wanted Bob Clearmountain to improve the mix by transforming the album uh, to a whole new experience. He nailed it. It's so rich in, in size and scope with the 5.1 mix and even more in the Atmos 7.1 mix. I mean, you are literally transported to the moment that the band recorded these songs. You just become entrenched in a sweet and wondrous rock revival with one of the best bands of their respective era. With this box set, you can't help but become submerged in, in a baptism of rock and roll to the core of your soul. That's the way. You can get this new box set at our link below. Make sure to leave us a comment about this legendary group and your thoughts and memories on Robbie, Levon, and the whole gang. What other songs from the band should we cover on this channel? Let us know. To get the box set, like I said, make sure to click on the link below and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an episode of uh, our Rock and Roll Revival Daily. Help us keep the music alive. That's the goal. Until next time, three chords, and the truth, my friends.